This budget, if I can be honest with you, it is an attempt to implement ethnic cleansing in this nation from people of color, but also poor white folk from whom the services being cut will be impacted the most. President Trump and his surrogates have used dog whistle language to speak about race in negative ways and create fear in the hearts of Americans. Here is the reality. Many poor black families and brown families and Asian families and indigenous families will be devastated by this budget. So we say to Donald Trump, hands off our families, hands off our health care, hands off this budget, hands off this nation, hands off. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. You see Bishop Bob Royster there with his claims about the budget and how it's going to affect every random brother. And, of course, it's going to affect every random brother. Every time you cut a budget, that's what happens. That's common sense. What don't people understand about this? There, are, Whenever you cut a budget, some things are going to get cut. Now, what Trump did, from what I've seen, he cut across the board. He didn't spare any programs that were meant for the rich or the poor. So I don't know what he's complaining about. Let me get a breakdown about the, tr the budget. For years now, we have all these government agencies, and Reagan started this one right here. What happened was... We were running low on funds. So Reagan started dipping in uh, Social Security. And how they do Social Security is all they have to do is write an IOU. Like literally write an IOU. You know, to pay it back. They literally, I'm like, you people think this is funny. This is what they literally do. They literally write an IOU, say we'll pay it back, and they get the money. Now the Social Security is funding all these programs. Funding defense, funding all this. Now here, mind you, all the baby boomers are starting to retire. So guess what that also does? That also does, that, 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 what that does is that, that creates more money going out to Social Security. So you get, all these, you get all these government borrowing from the Social Security, and you got Social Security paying all these uh, baby boomers. Now, add to the fact that you got people with disabilities, add to the fact you got people who are playing crazy, add to the fact now... That you got all, and the Social Security pays for welfare, whether you like, like it or not. It does it too. Well, now, here's what it is. They want to recoup that Social Security money. That was one of the reasons why they started making, that was child support. Child support was not for the interest of the kids, no matter what they were saying. Because before child support, how was the government getting their money back? Ask yourself that. Child support is to pay the, was brought on to help. Bring back up Social Security, the coffers for Social Security. And that's what they understand. Now, I can, I, the bishop's point, he has no point, number one. Number two, he's speaking to the Gomery, whatever that, 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 that quote is. I keep for, forgetting how, what the, which one that was. But uh, he's, he's, he does not know what he's talking about. I can say that plainly and clearly. Because... Here's here's what he's worried about, and a lot of you people should just figure this out by now. A lot of religious leaders don't like this. You don't know why? Because their behinds are gonna get held to task. You know all this money that we give to these churches. You know all these donations, all all the the five hundred one c status that they've been enjoying for the last how many years, decades. Now their ass is gonna come to task because all these people who are on welfare, and there's gonna be a lot of people that do this. I know this for a fact because it always happens. There are people that aren't going to pay attention. And all of a sudden, they're going to get a letter in the mail. And all of a sudden, or they're going to people to just get their benefits cut for no reason. Like, they're just shut from it while they do evaluations. Or you're going to get people who find out they've been fraud in the system, and they're going to get they're kicked off. What's going to happen is now, you're going to lean on the church. Well, guess what? The church don't have no money. The church's money is, quote-unquote, tied up in other things. Like maybe his lavish lifestyle. Or Cruffalo Dollars, three... 35 million jumbo jets that he wants to fly across the country on. They, the church cannot worry about taking care of you because the church doesn't worry about taking care of itself. And let me let me, let me me make another profound statement that you guys should already know. And why, do, why, does, why do I, the heathen, have to relay this message to you, the church going to quote unquote believers of America? God said himself, if you don't work, you don't eat. 
He said that himself. So I don't know why all you people are getting all upset because, and I don't know why he, especially why he's getting upset. He should follow his own religion. What's he doing? What's he? What's he doing wearing that necktie for? I mean, uh, the the preacher's garb for if he doesn't believe what what it says. That's like the Pope. The Pope wants you to follow the pathway to heaven and and you know have no fear to set in the fifth. Yet the Pope rides in a bulletproof Pope mobile with a Pope mobile shield. It's bulletproof. Now, do you have that? How much faith does he have in God? Ask yourself that. But back to this guy. The churches have gotten so much money. You've seen them. But now they're going to be held. Their asses are going to be held to task. People are going to rely on the church and community because, like, that's that's what I know. Black folks, that's what we do. The church is like a backbone of the community. But you're going to see how much a backbone this church is when you find out. You're like, nah, the, the, the money ain't there, dog. It'll be like on Charlie Brown. No dogs allowed. Or birds. I'm telling you, you, you guys are going to be all praise Jesus, this, that, and the fifth. But the preacher going to tell you, hey, if you don't work, you don't eat. And let me, t- let, me, let, me, let, me, let me address this. I addressed it earlier. What did they do before child support? There was no paying back. It's a means to an end. What they want you to do is they want to pay. They, they're they getting these people, to, us, the p- parents, or because I know women pay child support now too. They're getting the parents to pay child support just to fill the Social Security coffers back up for all the money they squandered, our government squandered. And he's saying, you know, Trump's things is ethnic cleansing, this, that, and the fifth. No, it's not ethnic cleansing. If you're not afraid of work, you should have no problem. If you're afraid of work, you should be doing what this pastor's doing right now. That's panicking, hitting, hitting the, you know, NORAD level five right now. You know, he, he should be, you know, all the red lights and buzzers are going off. You know, danger, Will Robertson, danger, you know. That's what, he's, that's what he's doing. But he should, like, have his faith in God, which he doesn't apparently. Because, like I said, God helps those who help themselves. If you're just going to sit back and think you're going to collect a check for not doing anything, you think he's going to help you? Ask yourself that. And now let me make another point, if I may. A lot, You know why a lot of people aren't saying anything? And this this goes out to the people on welfare, Section 8. You know, the ones that, you know, not not the ones that really need it, because there are people out there who really, I'm talking, I'm talking about you generation ones, the ones who don't work but are able-bodied to, not the ones who look for work to get off the program and use it as a crutch. Not the ones that like don't know don't work but want to be up on Facebook begging for money. People aren't gonna feel sorry for you because they'll be like, you had a chance to get off of it, you didn't, you, you didn't do anything. And and and, and think about this way: you're getting services, you're getting your health care free, you're getting your rent basically for free, you're getting a lot of these services for free, the same services that we're paying for. Think about that. Our, we're paying for that federal health care. You're getting it for free. And if and if and and the bad part about it is, if I don't, if I, if I don't have it, or I'm insurance, I'm getting fined. Whereas you don't have it, and you get it for free. I can see if you were like a senator, or a representative, or a employee of the federal government, you, that comes with the package. But what now? Welfare people, or well, people on welfare, you know, are you guys now considered federal employees now? That's another thing people, why do you think the majority of, why do you think the middle class period is not bitching and moaning right now? There's, the middle class is not complaining because they see this, every, every so often politicians have to, I said this in the, another video, every so often the politicians have to. Listen to what I'm saying now. They have to cater to the middle class. Well, what, what does the middle class do? They get up and they make a protest and they cross racial lines and they get you out of there. Donald Trump didn't just win the white vote. Let me let me let me give you guys a shocker here. Look, you you think no black people vote for Donald Trump? I know plenty of black people that vote for Donald Trump. I know plenty of Hispanics that vote for Donald Trump. People across the country are, are sick and tired. Obama didn't, and, and people are saying, well, Obama, no, Obama didn't do anything. Well, if anything, Obama made this worse. Letting gay people marry the second and fifth. Look, I'm just saying, Solomon and Gomorrah all over again. And please not with the stone and all the rocks and all that other Old Testament BS you guys are coming with me with. But the fact remains, 
Trump is thinking that as a businessman. And, like, unfortunately, what Trump's problem is, you can't run this country like a businessman. You have to run it like a politician because he probably wants to go in there and gut a lot of stuff, but he can't do that because he has to play the game. And that's why I'm glad he got Pence in there because, look, if you think, and all you guys are trying to get rid of Trump out of office, if you think Trump's bad, Pence will really put your ass to task. Just ask somebody in Indiana what he does. I mean, I don't mind, like I said, I don't mind people if you need a hand. That's one thing. That's, that's what America's about. But at the same time, why should you, why should you who lived on welfare for the last 20 years and there's nothing wrong with you, why should you get the same service for free that I have to pay for? I'm just asking. And that's why the middle class isn't griping. You don't hear you don't hear the middle class complaining. You hear people of you hear you hear uh, the usual rebel rousers of the minorities and the lower white people, lower white class, complaining because it, and, and really they got nothing really to complain about because they've been getting this stuff for free for the last eons. So why are you complaining? The fact remains is the people of the middle class were sick and we still are. We're sick of paying for everything. Why do you think that a lot of the auto workers were? How in the world did Donald Trump win Detroit, Michigan? With all the unions up in there, how do you think? How do you think he won Pittsburgh and um, in Pennsylvania, Cleveland? How do you win? How do you win in these these religiously blue collar cities? I mean, these is religiously blue collar cities. These are cities that have Democratic mayors who are winning their mayorship by like seventy percent. But yet, Donald Trump, a Republican, won by 60%. And he did not just get the white. He, he got the white, the black, the brown, the blue, the red, the green. I mean, he got every vote. So the, the fact remains is, you can't feel sorry for people that didn't feel sorry for themselves. And once you guys start getting them letters getting kicked off, I mean, all we can do is pray for you. Because the church can't do anything for you. Because... They're gonna be out of money quick because they don't. I don't think the. I don't think the, think the church or I don't think people realize the scope of how many lazy people. And I mean lazy. I don't mean people who like. There's people who've been laid off of work and can't find work. And then there's people who've been on the system for so long that they're getting like golden anniversaries. They're getting you know employee like twenty recognition of fifteen years on. You know what I mean? Like they do at your job. So I'm just saying. Don't listen to people like this dude right here. He goes, oh, he's on his trying to rebel rouse. And like I said, he knows shit's about to hit the fan with the church. And the church doesn't have the money that you people think they have because they're out there squandering it on other things. So I'm out of here. Peace.